Hey guys, it's Meteor Pegasus here, and today we're going to take a look at the Mezco 112 Conan the Conqueror. And first, we're going to take a look at the box. We see here on the cover we have the um, Frazetta, Frank Frazetta artwork entitled Berserker. And it covers the front as well as uh, the top and the bottom portion and also the side here and then on the back we have the snow giants by Frank Frazetta and it covers the back and one of the sides here we have the figure in the tray and we can see it with all of its accessories here is the head sculpt that is based on the art on the cover of the box here's the uh, head that it comes with already in the box and this is the the uh, in motion hair here's some more accessories there's a belt a dagger a holster for the dagger and we also have the sword a sword a axe an axe and another sword with a sheath along with that there is two necklaces and here is the figure itself uh, it, he's wearing a teal a shirt with some texture this belt and a skirt a loincloth, if you will. You can see some of the detail in the sculpt here. We're going to take a closer look in a second, but first, here's a comparison to the first Conan release. You can see the accessories there on the first tray. We're going to uh, compare uh, some of the heads. Here is the swaying head from the new one, and you can see the detail here. The hair is very nicely sculpted. Here is the swaying hair from the first Conan release. And you can see that they uh, used a new sculpt for the hair there. This is the old one. And here's the figure, Conan the Conqueror figure. Here's a look at the head sculpt of the figure. Here's a comparison between the old and the new one and the biggest difference I see is the larger scar on the new one and the color of the earrings. Here's the helmeted head sculpt from the front of the box, the art on the front of the box. You can see the sculpt there, very nice, and the paint application also very nice. I like the texture. And here is the third tray in the Conan the Conqueror set. And you can see there's two flails, a shield, as well as um, three sets of hands there, the stand as well. And here is the last tray. We have the uh, cape, the skirt, and I guess wrist coverings, and the black cloak. I also wanted to show the stands that come with the three Frazetta themed Mexico 112 figures. And you have the Snow Giants, the Death Dealer, and the Barbarian, Frank Frazetta paintings. So uh, this is the flail. This is one of the flails. And uh, this one comes with a wire that you can use to manipulate the chain so you can have it move in the air. This is the normal one with a normal chain. Here's the handle. This is the gold shield. And this is the uh, old, the shield from the first release. And it appears to be the same sculpt, just different paint application. Here's uh, one of the swords from the new release. 
here. And here is the axe. Here's the other sword. This one has some interesting deco in the center there. And here is the sheath that also has some intriguing deco as well. And it does fit in the sheath, as you can see. Here is a closer look at one of the necklaces. And here's the other. Here's a comparison to the necklace from the first release. Uh, again, this is the same sculpt here, but the paint app is different. Here's the dagger. And the uh, holster for the dagger. It's a leg holster. Here is the belt. Uh, very cool, very um, interesting, ominous looking skull there. You can see the studs, and this is how it uh, connects there with that peg right there. Very cool. Here's the figure itself. Um, we can take a closer look here at the cloth on the shirt here. It also has some stitching. Um, you can see there in the front there's one and then there's some on the sides here and then here's the belt that he wears in the package and there's the stitching on the side there and the shirt is removable uh, you just have to be careful when pulling it off here's the back you can see some of the texture there on the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, loincloth, skirt, whatever. And then some sculpt on the legs here with the musculature and the scars. And here is a, the boots. You can see the sculpt on the boots here, the fur and the cords that wrap around. Very nice sculpt and the the bottom. Here are the bottom of the boots. They have the peg holes for the stand, I believe. So that's the figure and here is a comparison to the original Conan release. And I believe the only differences seem to be the boots are different. Um, the color choices for some of his accessories there are different as well. His, uh, I'm not sure what you call them, the things on his arms. The old one has more of a gold tint and the new one is more of a silver tint. Here is the black cloak. You can see the uh, material here. Get a closer look at the material. And it does have a bendable wire for posing. And we can take a closer look here at the way it clips on. It uses this uh, S-shaped piece here. And here is Conan the Conqueror with the cloak on. Here is the skirt, I guess, the fur, fur skirt, as well as these, um, not sure what they're called, but they go on the wrists. 
maybe they're wrist warmers. Here's Conan with the skirt and the uh, accessories, wrist, wrist accessories. And here is the other fur cape, I guess is what you would call it. You can see it has some holes there and some frayed ends, the frayed ends of sanity. And there's the tie there. And here he is with the full garb, donned in the full garb. Ready for the snow, I guess. And here's a comparison with the other Mezco uh, Frazetta inspired figures. Here is a comparison with some Mythic Legions figures. And here we have uh, two horses. The one on the left is the Mythic Legions horse that comes with the Headless Horseman. And the one on the right is a brown Figma horse. Here is a comparison with uh, He-Man Masterverse. And here is a comparison with my only other uh, non-Frazetta Mezco figure, which is uh, Baron Benz.